Veltenberger Kloster Hefeweiss Dunkel. Life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. Fucking hell, what a mouthful that was. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got one from the Veltenberger Kloster. That is an abbey in Bavaria. Now, you might think this is just any other old beer that you know has come out of Bavaria, but the Veltenberger Kloster, or Veltenberger Abbey, Along with Vine Stefano, and then the two are having a bit of a ding dong at the moment about who's the oldest. But this has been going since 1050 AD. Right? Now, if you actually work that out, that is a hell of a long time. Now, obviously, they've not been brewing vice beer since then, but they've been brewing a, f a form of beer since then. Now, that is some claim to fame. You know, I think in the UK there's, um, I know there's sort of other breweries that call themselves the oldest. Shepherd Neem is officially the oldest and that is 16, I think it's 1689. That's what the UK has got. Don't get me wrong, beer has been in, you know, in the UK since Anglo-Saxon times. But there's not been no organiser, organised brewing of beer like there has in Germany. Um, and this, you know, along with Weinstefana, are the two oldest. Um, the, and, you know, Weinstefana have got a, a counterclaim saying that um, the monastery was dissolved. Um, it was in the 1800s, I think it was. Um, it's a, I think it's a Benedictine mon monastery, but it was dissolved in the 1800s and they stopped for a while and then started up. So if you look at the Weinstefana claim, it says uh, the oldest continuous brewery in Germany. So, you know, read into that what you will. At the end of the day, it's all about the beer. That is what matters. So, let's stop guessing and let's take a look at this beer. Mr. Magoo will don the glasses. Let's have a look. Right, uh, it is a Hefeweiss Dunkel, or dark wheat beer. From the Fazerland, yeah. It's got historical... No, sorry, it's got geographical um, protection from the EU. Is it me or has that just got dark all of a sudden? Do you know what? I think the missus has turned up. No, she ain't. I thought that was her misery cloud just coming over and blotting the landscape. Um, where was I? Apart from talking about my missus' misery cloud. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's a Hefeweiss Dunkel. It is... Uh, Fucking hell, I can hardly see a thing. See, the thing is, I'm not blind, right? Oh, uh, do you ever run those cartoons about that ridiculous little nearsighted old man? But I have to, um, I have to pull the, where I've got this new desk, I have to pull the curtains over. Otherwise, it's like, you know, Jesus has come down from heaven and the fucking light is right in my eyes. But, um, and to be fair, these fucking lot ain't made it clear what the ABV is. It's a 500ml bottle. It doesn't say on it what the ABV is. Is it? Am I being stupid here or what? No, I don't think they've put it on there. It's around here somewhere. Look in the um, description section. I'll put it in there like I always do. I can't see it on there though. It must be the smallest thing here. It could be about fucking 15% and then bastards haven't told me. Anyway, let's stop gassing and let's get it open. That has got a very nice cap, I will say that. Ever gained a, at that. Hang on. Look at that, that is a really nice cap. I do like that, that is going in the collection, yeah. 
You get it in there. There you go. There you go, Lois. On the nose, out the bowl. Yep. Usual caper. Banana. Clove. Sweetness. And cheesy Bavarian feet. From the yeast. Yeah, it smells okay. No complaints. Let's get it into the glass. Fucking hell, that is lively. That is proper lively. Let me just get that to calm down for a sec. Now, I have to say, uh, the vice beer, or the dark vice beer, is one of my favourite styles. You know, vice beer is my thing. And out of all them sort of sub-genres of uh, wheat beer, because you've got the Crystal Vice, you have the Vice Beer Dunkel, and you have like, you know, the Fest Beer, um, etc. You know, all the different sort of takes on it, the flavoured stuff. The Dunkel Vice Beer is probably one of my favourites. Do you know what, I've just held that to the light. The carbonation is absolutely insane. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that. Oh yeah, there you go. Can you see that? That is absolutely insane. I'm trying to get the whole lot in here in one hit and get the sediment out the bottom as well. So it's weird, as quickly as I'm, for all the carbonation, as quickly as I'm pouring it, the head is dissipating. So I'm gonna have to be quick with this one. Right. Weltenberger Kloster, Hefeweissbier Dunkel. On the nose. Yeah, more of the same. The banana and the clove. There's a little touch of caramel there as well, which I'm assuming is coming from the roasted malt on that, but yeah. Nice, the carbonation on that is just insanity. Let's get it down the hatch. Prost, as they say in Germany. Oh, that's nice. That is a really nice, dark wheat beer. Nice caramel malt, subtle, light caramel malt. Sweetness, sweet caramel, a touch of banana. Not so much clove, it, it's very sweet. <clears throat> well, I say sweet, it's comparatively sweet compared to other dark wheat beers, but it's really nice. The, the head is dissipating. For all that carbonation, the head is doing the off. But that's really good. Uh, unusual thing about that is I've had that in the fridge for a couple of days. I took it out and it was freezing. But I'm drinking it now and it's, I'd say it's chilled, nowhere near cold as it was when I took it out of the fridge. And that's only been, you know, the duration of where we are now. I will say the body isn't as strong as you get on the uh, Weinstefana or the uh, Paolana, on the dark beers. And that's unusual with a wheat beer because wheat beer, that is their thing. The body on it is always, because that's why wheat is added to beer. It gives it a, you know, much more body. <clears throat> Not really getting it on this. Mm. The more I drink it, the more that lack of body is becoming evident. It's almost like it's been watered down, which is really unusual. 
for a week there. But it's certainly drinkable. I mean, I could drink gallons of that. That is lovely. That is a, <clears throat> that is a really nice dark wheat beer. Let down slightly by the lack of body, but that is a relatively minor gripe. Um, the head dissipating is a bit of a disappointment too, but flavor wise, that is really good. I could drink a fair amount of this. What's the verdict on a beer that comes from one of the oldest breweries in the world? Uh, not bad. Flavour is there. Um, the only two disappointments I've got with this is the slight lack of body that you get in this and the head dissipating at a rate of knots. And possibly the fact it's just come out of the fridge. I don't know what, there's some science to this shit. And science was never my thing. But that's come out of the fridge. I've literally put it on top of there, set the camera up, and started gassing. And it came out really cold, and now, well the bottle's obviously warmed up, but the beer hasn't got that really cold flavour to it. I don't know why that is. And because the body's weaker, you know, I, that really doesn't make, make no sense. But... You know, these are minor gripes. This is a lovely, drinkable, flavoursome beer. From Bavaria. Super smooth as well. For all the carbonation that's there. That's, that's just like, it's like velvet going down. It's really nice. Um, what would I give it? I'll give it an eight out of 10. I don't think it matches up to the best of the Bavarian stuff. Um, I do prefer the Wein Stefana, unfortunately. Not well, unfortunately for Weltenberger, fortunate for um, Wein Stefana. But um, that's not a bad effort. I'll tell you something, if I saw that again and that was the only beer, I'd definitely go for it. <coughs> and I'd also choose that over a fair few other dark wheat beers. Of course, you know, Erdinger, I'd fucking choose the cat's piss over Erdinger. But um, that's, that's really nice. Yeah, I'll give it an eight out of 10 and I'll recommend it. And remember, beer is working class champagne.